All right, to start off the acabeche, I'm gonna do a step-by-step, -step, okay? So the acabeche, acabeche, I won't be saying that right, um, the pecao is basically just a tangy kind of tasting fish that you will marinate with olive oil and vinegar and some other seasonings. So I always try to do my videos in two um, parts because um, it's a lot of people that come to my channel that have never tried certain recipes. So I try to do them step by step so that way it's easy for them to follow. So this is gonna be our first step. So the first thing we're gonna do for this recipe, we're gonna pickle our peppers and our onions um, in an oil and vinegar kind of, um, I don't know if you like vinaigrette, okay? So you can use as many peppers as you want or as little peppers as you want. PJ, AKA Papi Pablo, and Big Papa and myself, we love the onions when they are pickled, okay? As well as the peppers, not as much as the onions, okay? All right, so make sure you rinse your peppers and then we're gonna start cutting everything up. When you cut your peppers and your onions, um, oh, and I forgot the garlic, I gotta get garlic. You can cut your peppers however you like. You can cut, cut them into strips or into um, small little cubes, it's up to you. Let me grab my garlic. I need to add garlic to mine. And this is a recipe that I think a lot of people make um, kind of like their own way. Let's move on to our onion. Before I start, all right. Um, that was like a half a head of garlic, I believe. So it's like two, four, six, eight. Okay, so like eight pieces of garlic. But you put whatever. If you like a lot of garlic, you can. If you don't want to add it, you don't have to add it, okay? But I love garlic. So you can chop it however you want. I'm gonna try to chop it as small as I can, only because I'm not cooking it. It is gonna be in, um, a puree, um, okay, puree. It's gonna be in um, in a vinaigrette. So this is how I'm gonna do mine. I'm gonna do two halves just to show you. Um, for camera purposes, I'm going to then cut it and continue to do the rest that way. But um, I'm just gonna show you how I do it. Oh my God, I'm not feeling this board. So I'm just chopping into little pieces and then I'll add the some pink salt to it. That way it can kind of tenderize it. You guys can use um, um, the regular, I need to find you for my hands. You guys can use um, the regular salt. If you have regular salt, whatever salt you wanna use. Um, you guys know from my videos, I like to use pink salt. Okay, so I'm sprinkling it a little bit. All right, and then I'm just going to give it a quick chop. Like this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Press it a little bit like so. Okay, and and this 
this is what it's looking like. Now, if you like to big chunks of garlic, go for it. Some people do. We're all different. Garlic is actually really healthy for you, so there's nothing wrong with it. All right, so I'm gonna continue to, um, I'm gonna do all this and then put it in there and I'll be back. All right, guys. So this is what we're gonna use to make our little kind of pickle um, vinaigrette for our fried porkies, okay? So we're gonna start off by using vinegar. I'm going to use one cup of vinegar because you wanna always use more vinegar then your olive oil. So we're gonna do one cup of vinegar. Then we're gonna take a half a cup of olive oil and add that, okay? Then we're gonna sprinkle salt to our, our, then we're gonna sprinkle salt to our liking. Just remember that the vinegar, um, the vinegar has like a little tang to it. So you don't wanna be too heavy on the salt because we're gonna season the porgy and don't say it's gonna be muy salado. It's gonna be too salty, you don't want that. Then you're gonna add oregano to your liking. I'm probably gonna use like a teaspoon or half a teaspoon. We'll do it together. And then I'm gonna add a couple of um, leaves of um, bay leaves. You can either add it at this time or you can wait till you lay your fish and cover your fish with this and then add the bay leaves that's what i'm gonna do okay so let's start marinating our veggies all right my loves so we're gonna start off it doesn't even matter what you start off with oh wait let me get the uh I'm gonna try to add a half a tablespoon in here, but I know it's probably gonna go over a little because the way that it comes out. I should take the tapa off, but I'm too lazy. All right, I'm gonna say about here. I'm not even big on oregano. I just add it because I feel that it should be added for extra that extra flavor. And you won't taste it. So I'm gonna add the same amount that I did. So I'm gonna add some thyme. I'm gonna add the same amount as I added of the um, of the oregano, okay? And boot them up. It just smells so powerful, I can't do it, okay. So I added less than half a um, table, a teaspoon, I'm sorry, half a, less than half a teaspoon. Okay. Um, I'm going to add my olive oil. I need my onion. Then I'm gonna add the vinegar to that. And when you guys are gonna make um, any kind of um, acabecho, oh my God, acabeche de pecado or whatever if you know you're gonna make it a day or two before this is perfect to like prep a day or two before because it'll taste even better and the onions and, pe and peppers are, are well a little bit so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this up and we're gonna stick it in the refrigerator while we season our porgies um, flour them and then fry them okay I'm not gonna add any salt at this time because I first wanna see, um, once I season the porgies and everything and put everything together, how it's gonna taste. All right, my loves. So the fish that we chose to do the acabeche de pecao um, is porgies. Paul went to the farmer's, not the farmer's market. Paul went to the, um, seafood market and they have porgies so they weren't on some fortune they were like 2.99 a pound i believe i'll double check with paul but i believe they were 2.99 a pound now now they're charging you pa, um a camalo, um to to i don't know to take the scales off so now they're charging extra for that before they didn't do that which i thought it was nuts but anyway paul did it because he didn't want to be outside in the cold, a commando like getting all the, the, the scales off because I don't allow him to do it in the house because he makes a mess. So he has like a table outside by the grill 
that he does it. So he paid the extra, whatever. Excuse me. So we got, um, ooh, we got four. And every time that I, I love porgies. I'm gonna tell you I love porgies. And I think of my father because my father used to fish them and my dad loves porgies. So after I make this video and I do my plating, I'm gonna send my mom a text so she can show it to him so I can tease him. But I have to go to Puerto Rico, God willing, next month. Um, so I'm gonna try to take him some. All right, so my fish is already clean. It's been gutted out. Now I'm gonna prep my, um, i show you how I flower the porgies. All right, my loves, I'm going to take about maybe two cups of flour. So far, I put two cups of flour into my um, bread pan. The reason I use the bread pan is because it's a lot thicker and it will make such a big mess and the porgies or any fish fits perfectly in here. So it works for me. I'm gonna put one more. I'm gonna put three. If we need more, we'll add it. Now, for this recipe, if you do not want to bread your fish, by all means, do not bread the fish. I mean, flour the fish. You don't have to flour the fish, okay? Because you don't need to, but oh, I like it. Okay, we're gonna use two envelopes. This is awesome. Then I'm gonna use some garlic. And nope, I'm not gonna measure it. I'm just gonna start from the bottom to the top, from the top to the bottom. Okay, and then I'm gonna sprinkle some salt. Remember, you don't wanna over season your fish because we're using that um, vinaigrette, tangy vinaigrette with the vinegar, and you don't want your fish to be salty because nobody wants no salty fish. You can put pepper. You guys know I'm not a big fan of pepper, so I won't be adding it. This is what I'm gonna to do to my fish. The fish, the porgy, any kind of fish you decide to make this with, doesn't matter. I'm gonna add more sauce on. You're gonna be like, ah, nana, more sauce on, yeah. Yes, because I like sauce on. Okay, so we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of garlic, like that, viste. Okay, and oh, and then we're gonna do the sazon, like that. See, that's like a half a packet, okay? A little bit of um, pink salt. I was about to say sea salt. Then I'm gonna take the porgies. And I'm gonna do a quick flip. Like that. I see, I see. Okay, then we're gonna sprinkle the other um, half of sazon, a little bit more of garlic, and voila, some pink salt. Yay, that's all. Then we're gonna give it one more flip station. Oh, this sucker is big. Big, big Papa's gonna want that one. But a Papi Pablo también, he likes fish. They like fishing, so. Alrighty, so this is the flower here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a fish. Let me see. I like to, to always pick whatever um, piece is seasoned the most. That way I can give the rest of the fish a minute to catch some of that seasoning. Delicioso, como dice Dora. Delicioso. God, I used to watch that so much with Gigi. All right, let's go get the oil. This is the fish. Let's get the oil um, hot so we can dump the fish in, okay? So let's go to the stove. All right, guys, so this is our fish. I'm just gonna give it a good flip. 
so I can bread it on the other side. All right, guys, when you're going to cook your fish, make sure that the oil is extremely hot without burning yourself, of course. And make sure you have a good grip on your fish because although you um, flour it, it can be a little slippery. Yeah, it needs to be a little hotter. You don't want to put your fish in the oil when the oil is not that hot because the flour will spread in the oil and just dirty the oil. Alrighty, let's try to our fish. Yum! Now my stove is at a, a six. So it goes like from, uh, you know, say this, a two, a two to high. But then it's six and then high, so mine is at a six. But do whatever works for your stove. After, I'm gonna put it down to a four. So that's a medium to high heat. And I'm gonna let it cook. I'm not gonna turn the fish until I see that all the edges are fried, all right? And then I'll be back. All right, I don't know. I set my um, Alexa for five minutes. It hasn't gone off. Oh, it's going off now. Alexa, stop the five minute timer. Um, but that's what we want. We want it to get crispy all the way around before we flip the um, the fish, okay? And make sure you get a good grip, guys. You know what? Let me get my mitten. Like I said, make sure you get a good grip. I don't want you guys burning yourself. Because oil is no joke. I've been burned by oil. I hate flying. Look at my stove. Okay. So now we're going to allow it to cook for five minutes on this side as well. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes. Alright guys, so my five minute timer has gone off. This is the fish now. It's fried. All you really need um, to drain the oil is just a cookie pan and a, a napkin. Alright, and that's what I'm going to use. Just drain the, the oil and lay on the pan. I'm gonna to continue to fry my fish and then I'll be back. Okay, so what we're gonna be serving with our corgi, um, it's just gonna be a basic salad. So I love these salads. I mention them all the time on my videos. Spring, this one is gonna be, cause they're all different. So this one is a spring um, salad mix. So that's what we're gonna do. Cause that fish is gonna be amazing. We don't need rice or anything heavy with it. I really don't want it. So here I have the, they're called tiger um, shrimp, large tiger shrimp. So they're already been cleaned. And we're gonna make them like in a pincho style. So we're gonna use the, um, the wooden sticks and we're gonna serve them like a pincho style. So I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna add some um, grape tomatoes. I may, I may need more. And mushrooms because in our house we love mushrooms and then we're gonna serve it over our side so that your wooden sticks do not burn I want you to soak them in water while we're prepping or you know seasoning everything together so soak these in water that way when you stick them in the oven they will not burn all right guys so for our shrimp we're gonna just do a basic very easy marinade so um, I went with the habanero mango sauce because I figure it will go good with the tanginess from the shrimp I'm sorry the tanginess from the fish not the shrimp the fish all right so we're gonna sprinkle some pink salt on the top as much as you like I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder. I'm gonna pour some of the habanero sauce on my shrimp. I don't measure, I wing it. So here we go. Like so. Okay, so now I'm gonna start to assemble. It doesn't matter 
how you decide what goes first or last or whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna start with a mushroom. Then I'm going to add a shrimp. Then I'm gonna add a tomato. You can add other vegetables if you like. I'm choosing not to. If you see the um, sofrito there, I was gonna add sofrito because I honestly, when I started the video, didn't know how I was gonna marinate, let me put a mushroom, how I was gonna marinate the um, the shrimp. So I took that out. Then I was like, oh no, I just used the mango habanero on the shrimp because the little bit of spice and sweetness will go good with the tang of the fish. And it'll pair really well with our salad. So that's what I decided to do. Okay, so this is what I'm, how I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna put it in my oven. So I'm gonna assemble all of them by adding three shrimp, mushroom and tomatoes, and then I'll be back. All right guys, so now the fish is all fried and we're gonna take our vegetable that we had in the refrigerator and we're gonna just lay it on top of the fish like so. Smells so good. I can smell the garlic, the pepper, the onions. Oh my god. Amazing. Okay, just like that. Um, then I have a few scallions, not much, that I wash. I'm just gonna cut them. so good so we're gonna leave it just like this all that oil and vinegar if you want to add more you can now I'm gonna take about four bay leaves and I'm just gonna add it in there Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it and we're going to stick it in the refrigerator. Like I said, this can be done the night before, that morning. The longer, the better. All right, guys. So this is our dinner for tonight. So this is the porgy. Etilo acabeche with the vinaigrette. That's olive oil and vinegar and then our veggies aguacate and then i did um the spring mix salad in the container as you saw then i did some um pinchos with mushrooms and tomato with a little kick to it just so it can give the salad flavor so the salad won't be so bland um oh my god my mouth is watering this food looks delicious this is big papa's plate ya tu sabe es rey de la casa so guys, I appreciate all your beautiful comments and your feedbacks on my food. I'm so, so happy that I spend the time making these, um, I gotta get that out of there, these videos and you guys give me so many beautiful feedbacks. I truly appreciate it. Um, so make sure with that said that you give this recipe a try. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notification. Thumbs up.